Hi, in today's video we want to create this CV from left. We have the text and we want to design it to look similar. So here in BreOffice we create a table. We want to see the page size, so we have 21. We create a table, centered, 21. Uh, the sum is not 21. Let's come back to see what was happening here. Now it's 21. Again. And let's arrange uh, the two columns. Left it's 8. So let's decrease to 7 now. What we want, we want to move the text to be inside the table so we have the same structure as in the left uh, CV. So we have on the left what we have on the left and so on. We want to increase uh, the padding and also we want no border. What we want? Uh, we want to have a smaller table because um, we have a space on the left, a margin. Let's see the whole page. Now let's arrange one by one every uh, word here. So let's create a new style named CV name one. This is for Christopher. And for Morgan, we create from CV name one we create CV name 2. So now we have the styles for all that uh, words. You can see they are different colors. Let's uh, modify the space, the font. Let's increase the font. Let's adjust here. Okay, let's change the language and apply and the color it's let's uh, uh, choose orange maybe it's not like orange but similar the same thing let's um, change the Christopher uh, name here we want the same modifications here we want black um, one centimeter above the font the same English US font size let's choose that one and uh, what we want we can see the second uh, is too much it's too too big because uh, the percent it's about the first style so it's 100% like the first style so Christopher is the same as Morgan as size now now let's style a contact let's have here CV text oh no subject subject we don't want an intent um, alignment left it's okay font let's change to bold and this one now we want bigger it's okay now let's change the language I don't like the font. I want the same font as here. So Liberation Sans. Apply and OK. Now it's too big. Let's change it. And I want a line here in the bottom. The color to be uh, light gray apply and okay and we want a space between uh, 
below the paragraph. Now it's much better. We can apply now the same style to all the content. So let's bold the address. Let's create now the style for text. So I have CV text. Uh, the font the same, Liberation Sans, English US, no bold. And let's see the font. Let's select all the text that is not subject. So it's too big. Uh, let's choose 11. Okay. Everything looks fine. Let's bold address, let's bold email. I forgot here the link. Um, here, let's double click select. Select everything to be the text, the text format. So on the left, almost looks uh, very good, but not final. Let's uh, work a little bit on the right. So we have the subtitles, very easy. Now let's select the text. Uh, it didn't change here, let's go again. It didn't change. So let's create, uh, let's create CV text bullets bullets okay so we want bullets to have four skills we want some space let's apply mm, it's not okay let's change not here Let's see, it's perfect now. Uh, but we don't want in one column, we want it in two columns. Uh, let's uh, change a little bit the font, bigger. And now we create a section, we insert a section, insert. And now we want to format, format it. Go to format section, options, and we want two columns. Okay, so we have like on the left, we have two columns. Now let's continue to bold what we needed. So from here I need to bold. This is not a normal text, this is text with bullets. So this is text and this is text with bullets. Bullets. So this is text and this is also text. And this on the left, let's see. We want more space between lines. Now it looks much better. And this is text with bullets. Let's modify a little bit. Position. We have some options here. Position, line, but that space following, but by space okay everything looks good now now what we want we want to change um, the font to something uh, powerful something bolder for Christopher or for uh, subjects, but I don't like that. They are not so nice. I don't like that styles. You can see I don't like, I don't like it. So I will change back. Let's increase the f size of the font. Now let's look to arrange this uh, document to looks similar. 
let's check everything from uh, here so we have the name the image we will insert later here we have the font to be bold everything is fine everything looks similar here it's the same here the same everything looks perfect let's uh, change here everything that have bullets will have more space between lines now let's begin to arrange the final document we need a background on the left so we will insert a um, rectangle here on the left we have to fill everything we want no line okay and we want the area to be the same color so let's change let's try some colors here is too dark is not similar let's try from here doesn't look the same okay so i need to go to photo editor and in order to see uh, the real color of the image so let's open the image with the editor and let's pick the real color so this is the color okay let's change here so the color that i want is this one okay now looks similar what i need now is the image i have to bring the image but first let's move the uh, um, rectangle to the background now i need the name christopher to be zero space about paragraph so this is done now i need here the image i insert no not this image i want the person image let's insert again i have the photo we have to to be be careful to be aligned with the rectangle in order to look nice um, if you use this cv you can spend more time than me uh, editing details in your uh, document this is just a demonstration of how you could use LibreOffice to create CVs. So let's change here. We have more space on the page. Looks very good, but we have much space. Let's, uh, let's increase above, below the paragraph. We want more space and even more space. Let's create that. So let's go to styles. Uh, here we want after Morgan we want 04 centimeters space. Everything looks nice. Everything is filling in the page very good. Let's try now to see how I can remove the second page. I cannot escape the second page. Anyway, the second page will not be uh, exported as PDF. So anyway, let's see our documents, how it looks. We have this problem on the left with this uh, white line. We don't want that, but let's export as PDF, the, only the page one. 
to see what we have until now. So we have this document. Of course, we have that error with a white line. And also we have to uh, that padding is too small on the right. So let's correct the first mistake. So now let's export again to see if the first problem uh, gets solved. So everything is okay on the left. Now we need more space between uh, the gray area and the text on the right. So let's change here the table. Let's move the margin between cells in the table. And let's move back that uh, rectangle a little bit to the right. Now we have to rearrange the image, uh, the picture with rectangle. Everything look, looks good. Let's save it and export it as PDF. So page one, let's export it. So this is what we have. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.